the world of Ephiston, one of the first planets conquered by the Imperial Federation. It's a harsh desert world lit by a dull red sun that seems to blaze in the sky for long, dim, lengthy days with only a few hours of reprieve at night. The planet is covered by towering plateaus, often miles high, with long, thin towers of rock that rise into the sky like candles on a cake. The Imperial Federation builds atop these plateaus where the elemental fuel is rich, carving steps along the cliff facings to reach the top. While roads do traverse the planet, there is little travel between each plateau due to the harsh, hot winds in the valley below. The Federation hollows out these thin towers of rock and builds stony dwellings inside. Each tower can be around 20 to 80 stories tall, with each floor connected by a spiraling staircase. Additional tunnels can be found below the structure, leading to the mines and other towers. This protects them from the powerful electrical storms that sweep across the planet and light up the sky at all times of the day in bright green and blue flashes. Some storms are so strong they linger in the atmosphere like a powerful aurora borealis causing the metal of their machinery to spark. While the world is mostly barren, a few plants can be found across its surface. Mostly small pod-like plants with large brown leaves like wilted cabbage. They can uproot using small hair-like legs on the underside of their body and move slowly across the ground seeking small muddy oasises in the desert. If threatened, the pods can burst into a poisonous cloud of spores that can sear the lungs and burn the eyes, alerting other pods of danger in the region. Other small reptilians and insects do dwell within the oasises but the surface is mostly barren, and there's not enough food to sustain the population of Ephiston, which gets most of its supplies from trade. The population of Ephiston is surprisingly high, numbering in the low millions, most living in several large cities, but there's hundreds of towns and small villages scattered across the smaller plateaus. While there's not much to keep the people on Ephiston, the high volume of fire gel production makes it an attractive place for those seeking jobs and makes the world vital to the Empire. While the information on Ephiston is currently limited, there is expected to be more detailed files in the Exemplia Library coming soon.